good evening guys uh, so uh, in this video uh, we'll try to uh, give a solution to one of my subscribers uh, who has uh, uh, sent out this uh, excel file to me and uh, he has actually what he wants to know is uh, he want to sum uh, he want to find the sum of unique values uh, for example in this case he's saying that uh, 5023 uh, should be the answer so i don't want to sum um, I don't want to sum the 161, right? Because it is actually being repeated over here, right? So that's uh, that's what the email uh, he has written. And why I'm showing you this email? Uh, because of the two reasons, obviously. One is because I always, uh, uh, you know, uh, when I upload the videos or when I try to give you the solutions, I always share that who has actually written that. And obviously, this time I'm a little bit mean here <laughs> because he has actually given a, uh, you know, uh, his has given some amount of appreciation for me so <laughs> i just would like to read it thank you so much uh, so surrender is uh, writing that your all videos are very helpful to everyone as i work in a bpo industry and i always recommend to my colleague uh, to follow your videos so here i'm attaching my query and i'm hoping that as soon as you'll get time you'll pay attention to it of course thank you so much uh, it really means a lot and uh, thanks again for appreciating my work for appre appreciating the youtube channel uh, just one thing more um, you are push if you are pushing them um, towards uh, watch uh, you know my channel and go and watch the videos just uh, do me a favor as well uh, don't forget to tell them that you know they should also subscribe to my channel right all right so uh, surrender this is uh, what exactly you required and i see that uh, you have even uh, given a yellow color to this so i believe your point is not just to exclude this 161 i guess you are saying that whatever the duplicate values we have you want them to be excluded so one value should be picked up for example if i have a 306 then while summing the numbers you want that 306 should just be you know um, uh, counted considered as one one value uh, while doing this uh, sum while applying this sum function right so that's what i assume and i, I guess that makes more sense to this uh, query so <coughs> uh, we can do it i think uh, in n number of ways right and this is what exactly i teach in my even advanced excel trainings so i guess uh, we can uh, first of all maybe use the sum function and uh, thereafter maybe uh, we can go ahead and try to do with this with the arrays arrays always my favorite uh, <laughs> topic and uh, and one thing i just uh, forgot to share this with all all of you who are watching this video uh, he has mentioned the video number 77 as well right he has i think uh, he has uh, watched this uh, video number 77 and uh, so video number 77 is uh, if i if i just take you there uh, on the video number 77 uh, it is actually a video which talks about the arrays right so anyways let me not get into that uh, you can watch that video number 77 uh, it's a very nice video uh, there we have actually uh, talked about this uh, you know one of our puzzle which uh, which we actually were able to do uh, able to help uh, you know resolve with the arrays functionality so that's why I, I will uh, share this video um, I'll uh, give you a solution uh, from the arrays perspective as well uh, and then I think we can even use the dsum function. You might have not heard about this function ever because these are the database functions. But generally, people don't use them because they don't know about it, or maybe they don't think that they are so powerful. But they are actually very powerful. So uh, let us first of all um, do this uh, with the sum function. Now to do with uh, this kind of a you know uh, question to deal with this kind of a situation. Uh, you need to actually set up a extra column right so what we are actually going to do is we are going to uh, put here let's say count a header is count now what i'm going to do is i'm going to count these numbers how many times they are you know getting repeated using the count if function right so when you are going to give this uh, range in your table and then the criteria is this this is uh, 161 this is what you are exactly going to count press enter now you know that uh, you know you you will get here 3 because 161 is coming uh, is saying 3 so it must be somewhere yeah so here we have 161 right so that's why we are getting this count now when I drag this formula I'm going to use a very you know 
uh, a special technique, right? Uh, and the technique is by, by default, this table will behave like this if I drag this. You know, your range will keep on moving one step down, as you can see here, right? We started it from here. This is my table B2 to B21, but the moment I goes down, uh, the moment I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on this cell, uh, if, I, if I go down, this B2 will be changed to B3 and my cell, my this entire table is going to shift. Now that's what we, uh, you know, uh, uh, this is what uh, Excel is actually all about. Uh, we call it the cell referencing principle, right? When we go down the Excel uh, increases the rows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play here. I'm going to play with this technique and what I will do is I'll freeze the B21 portion only and I'll leave this B2 open. Now what will happen is B2, B21 which is my last row this will be freezed but B2 will not. So what will happen is eventually you will not get this repetition again and again. Now you can see here 161 is coming here 3 and then 2 and then 1 and this is what exactly we want. So the major catch of this exercise is this formula if you're able to build this. And what is happening is I can show you in F2 here I have shifted my I have moved my table you know one row down now 161 is not going to be counted in this table right because we have already counted there in the upper cell and similarly when you reach here this 161 is now going to be counted from the place where it, it is exactly located right from the row fifth so upper values are not going to be counted and similarly for this 161 now this 161 is going to be counted only in this table which you can see in the blue rest of the upper you know values uh, two times you are getting here 161 that, that's going to be excluded right and this is not for 161 this is for every every cell right maybe you can write here uh, 378 let me show you now this is what exactly I teach in my advanced excel trainings yeah, these are the hardcore you know uh, very advanced level techniques uh, and uh, when you know these kind of a things you can really uh, make very awesome things in your excel right now you can see here that 378 is not coming four times everywhere right so we have a sequence here uh, 378 is 5 and then 4 and then 3 and then 2 and then 1 and so on right so now just come over here and use this sumif function now sumif has three criteria one is the range so I'll give the range this time I'll give this range and this range my criteria is 1 obviously I would like to sum only the values which are coming just 1 and then the sum range has to be this where I actually want my count right so you'll get here 3 to 8 1 uh, you can check uh, if I drag this let's say this you can see here that my sum is only 161 so all these 161 values which are getting repeated they are excluded only the one entry is there right uh, if I let's say change this to 100 then the the answer should be 261 right so that's what you're getting here so your unique values are going to be uh, included in this and uh, that's the main point as you know I was saying that this is the main catch this is how you can do the things right so what we did is we said that in this criteria look for the one and again you know in front of those ones what are the values we have just give us those, uh, give us those values so this is how this will work for you right okay uh, second thing you can even do this uh, with the arrays uh, as I said arrays are always my you know uh, favorite topic I really love working on the arrays be it the VB array be it, uh, be it Excel array and I'll show you the links as well where you can go ahead and check out the power of this arrays and then you know you will definitely be uh, on the you know uh, you will agree with me when you see yourself that you know what I'm talking about is exactly has some meaning right it's, it's, it's just not that you know I love but it can actually do wonders L let it be uh, VBA let it be uh, Excel and I have uh, uploaded a lot of videos actually on the student queries as well so you can go and check out all those videos right alright so now uh, I'm gonna do this uh, with the VBA so the idea is uh, maybe this time let's uh, change this data so let's make me let me make this a sequence two three four five six and so on let's just drag this and fill the series and let's have some repetitions here like five like seven 
and maybe let's repeat this seven entire seven right all right so here you know that answer is there uh, let me just give it a yellow color so 42 is the correct answer I'm sure it will be correct uh, you can do the sum and you can see uh, yourself here otherwise we are going to uh, use this array technique as well now arrays works on the true and false the first thing first right when you multiply true with true what happens it gives you one in Excel you might be thinking that these, these are the text entries for example if I multiply this Ajay by Ajay does that make any sense obviously it will not make any sense and you'll get the error but to your surprise if you multiply true by true you'll get the one because trues are considered as one so and if you are going to multiply false with false you'll get zero I've already talked about actually all these things in my you know uh, the playlist uh, arrays um, I'll, I'll tell you where to go and where to find all those videos uh, at the end of the video but anyways uh, it's always good to you know do the kind of a revision so this is what we exactly we are going to do we are going to form these combinations if I multiply true with false then that means that the f you know two uh, one is going to be multiplied with zero and then what you'll get you know the answer is zero right so uh, guys uh, now let's do one thing um, this formula is there uh, and with the help of this uh, column helper what we are actually going to do is we are going to create the two arrays right so first array I'm going to create here I'll say that this equals to 1 what does that mean that means that in D2 to D21 wherever we have the 1 you know it is going to return us true and where we don't have 1 it is going to return us false but to do that you need to press Control shift enter right not just enter remember now you have the curly brackets here if you sing the curly brackets when you are going to do this by yourself then that means you are going in the right direction now in order to see the output let me press F9 and show you alright so it's a huge list right so wherever I have one you see that I'm getting the true the first value is one so that's here where I get the true uh, the second is three so that's where I get the false and so on so on the fourth position I am seeing a true so le let us check one two three four right so that's my number similarly on the last number I have a true and here I'm seeing the true so you can check all these numbers this is what exactly we are getting here right so let me come back now I'm going to create another array which is this let me just close them B2 to B21 I want to display the number control shift enter and this is how you actually work on the arrays you have to press always control shift enter now you have all the numbers here you can see here one two 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 five five the entire table isn't it incredible you know it's so good to see that you are what are you doing actually here you are capturing all the numbers in one cell that's fast I mean this something really makes me very you know crazy that I mean we have such a kind of a great technique in Excel and I always thank Microsoft for that you know they have done a wonderful job now what exactly you're going to do here I'm going to multiply this with this so eventually what will happen is let me show you let's just create this uh, array once again and I will be quick over here uh, and let me just create this over here the same array I'm creating here and showing you something now let me show you the output of this we have already seen the output but I'm just going to remove the equals to sign so this is my array one and let me remove the equals to so these are the arrays this one and this one right you you can't see the output unless you press F9 if I press F9 I will be in the output side right so this is where I'm seeing all the results right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by this so what will happen the first element of the first array is going to be multiplied with the first element of the second array which is this right so this is my first and this is my second array right so what will happen when when I'm going to multiply something with the true then the same value will be reverted back and when I'm going to multiply false with uh, some another number it is going to give me zero you can do the testing here let's say I write here 4 multiply by true so what are you doing you're doing actually 4 multiplication 1 right you're multiplying 4 with 1 and if you're going to multiply this 4 with 0 or false you will get 0 so that's what we are going to do so what we did is we said that check out in this table all the values equals to 1 and then what it did is it it has 
given us these two false combinations so we know that on every one we need that value corresponds to that value from the b column right uh, for example we have a one here so we would like to sum this we have a three here we would not like to sum this reason because this this three means that this two is actually getting repeated in this table this is true then again we would not like to uh, uh, you know so we are going to actually multiply uh, these arrays uh, you know uh, with each other and this is what we are exactly going to get the output so let me do one thing uh, let me multiply this uh, with this array and I'll show you the result okay now let us press control shift enter right uh, I can move this little down because there's a lot of hodgepodge over here so we can just that th that is just for your actually I just wanted to explain you what is happening here so now you have the answer over here but you can't see anything the reason being because obviously you can't see all the values in one cell for that you need to press F9 so see the result and you will be mesmerized with this you have got all the numbers which are unique right that looks amazing right so per if if there is a personal choice I would definitely go ahead and you know like to create the array and I'll not choose this sum if which I feel like is a boring formula but anyways <laughs> that's uh, something that's my you know uh, personal uh, thing um, um, uh, this is what I actually think uh, I'm not sure whether you like this or not but again it's always good to know right the extra things so I have all the numbers collated here 1 2 5 8 9 10 uh, 7 you can see here and all the numbers are there and now what you need to do is once you have all these numbers let me press escape what I will do is I'll simply go ahead and sum them so arrays are not just uh, not there just to form the table but you can do all the uh, you can apply almost all the functions on the arrays just like you can apply uh, the functions on the you know any other table so control shift enter again and this is what I got so this is your sum if and this is your using arrays let me repeat that stuff again for you what we did is we said in the array we got all these numbers using control shift enter by simply using this kind of uh, you know a formula b2 to b21 and then what we did is we said that in this uh, b2 to b21 what I exactly looking for uh, sorry d2 to d21 I'm looking for equals to 1 so wherever I have uh, 1 it has given me this kind of a output right and then again false and then true and so on right and then what I did is now this is remember this is uh, we are now using these each cell for you know uh, this each value but here the beauty about this array is the class you know classic thing about the arrays is you can get all these things in one cell when I actually showed you right so eventually what is happening is you are seeing that multiply this with this so wherever you have the false that means that value is repeated you'll get the zero and that's what we exactly uh, you know um, I was trying to show you when I was using this function called this array function right so when I clicked here F9 this is what exactly I got this is what you are seeing here if I drag this down you'll see this 1002005 right but good thing is that I have collated all these uh, different uh, you know cell values in just one cell and this can be done only through arrays right and later on what I did is uh, for example uh, I just use this sum formula so I got this 8 obviously uh, we are not using rest of the values, so that's why it is giving this 8 but otherwise if you drag this or maybe I can drag this for you why not we have a time so uh, this is going to be true this is going to be false and again this is going to be true this is going to be true and this is going to be false this is going to be again false and uh, so I have all the falses here and ex except for the last one so this is going to be true and let me drag this formula and this is what exactly if I sum this this is what you will get 42 and this is what you got here using the sum if and this is what you'll get here when you actually use this sum function right so I hope 
this makes a lot of sense to you and to all my uh, you know friends who are watching this video uh, now we can even go uh, further you know and can do this uh, kind of a uh, we can achieve you know this kind of a result with another function which is called a d sum i can uh, let me just tell you uh, first of all let me just paste this and we'll do this in a different uh, you know this uh, sheet uh, before i tell you about the d sum i must tell you that i have already actually launched a series on the d database functions you can go to this uh, this is by the way if you are a new or if you are watching it for the first time uh, that's my website uh, which i have just launched uh, i think 10 to 15 days back and uh, you can go to this excelvblover.com and over here you if you want to have some training you can go there on the training course otherwise if you are interested in watching some excel videos then just click on this video tutorial and there these are all the videos according to the category right so here uh, i have already uploaded the videos on the count you can go and check all these videos very nice videos and uh, nice because uh, you know you people ask me such wonderful questions then ultimately the videos becomes awesome right so credit goes to you guys not to me and uh, similarly uh, this is what i was talking about uh, the, here you can go and you can explore all these functions d count d count with while characters d max and d count again and uh, while uploading this video i always had uh, you know uh, basic it was in my mind to uh, upload a video very soon on the d sum but today you asked me a question uh, so thank you so much i'm going to upload this video under this category again and you can watch that and uh, so here we have uh, if you if you want to uh, check that what exactly i teach my training videos on on my online videos you can go there and these are the very long videos uh, one hour video two hour video you can watch and this is where i was talking about super strong arrays you can watch all these eight nine videos and i i must tell you that you know you will be definitely liking them all right so let me come back to this um, d sum so what we are actually going to do is in, in the d sum when you write the d sum d sum is used to you know again to sum on these specified specific criteria so whatever you specified there it goes accordingly and then it can sum up the things now in d sum we have three parameters database field and criteria database obviously will be your this entire table field is where exactly you want to count so for me the field would be this the count the second column column b and the criteria you have to set up so we want to sum up the values which is actually you know equals to 1 the values which are equals to 1 that that's something we will actually like to sum so uh let me uh, write here count if let's say because you can't have the two same headers in a table when you actually uh, work on the uh, d functions right just to avoid any um, errors so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write here count if i'm going to write here one this is how you set up the criteria your header should be exactly the same and this is must for you right now if i have here let's say hh then i i i have to write here hh and below that what whatever is the criteria so my criteria is one so i'll write here one so now when you write the d sum uh it is going to ask you for the database that is my database i'll cover all the headers now the field is going to be 2 you can write here 2 or maybe you can write within the quotes the column b your choice and the criteria this is how you select the criteria the rest of the things d sum will do for you so you got the value here which is 42 make sense right so we have learned that this uh, such kind of task not only can be achieved by arrays or maybe by sum if but you can also use the d sum here right and uh, i think uh, you can even use uh, one more technique uh, sorry i'm <laughs> i'm actually getting so many uh, things in my mind so i'm just going ahead and you know sharing it with you so that in in this in just one video you can see yeah, that you know how you can actually do uh, uh, how you can uh, uh, get the same solution you know by using the different different formulas different techniques so if i paste this uh, table here this is the original table actually uh i'm just thinking that there is one more thing you can do uh, which is uh, sort this data i'm going to sort this and uh, when you going to sort this sort this on the count basis so that all the numbers the same numbers should come 
you know below below each other like in this case two is now coming you know one by one below each and uh, this this is again uh, same is applicable for the seven and then eight and nine ten obviously we don't have any repetition so here you can do one thing you can say that uh, the very first value is um, obviously going to be unique so just say equals to and then thereafter you can say that uh, if my this value b3 is equals to my this value right so what does that mean that means that this is going to be repeated so this should give me zero if if we have the same value otherwise we should have the same number so now you'll get here two but the moment you drag this this is going to be zero as you can see here again if you drag this this is going to be zero if you drag this you should get five and which you are getting here if you drag this you will get zero right simple and this is what you will get and then here you can use the sum function make sense so this can even be done with the if condition right so i'll go ahead and upload this video under all those categories uh, under arrays under d family under if logics and uh, count family as well because we have almost like invented four techniques to sort out this issue right uh, maybe i can think of lot lot other things as well um, i guess um, even the pivot can work uh, maybe we can prepare a vba code as well we can prepare a function it's not a big deal we can run a loop right you can go ahead and watch my videos on the vba uh, on the under function category you'll see that what i'm exactly talking about so i guess that's more than enough <laughs> for today if you have any still more questions and if you don't like the idea let me know about it maybe i'll think uh, you know again on it and try to share the, again uh, some new video right so thank you so much uh, guys uh, and thank you so much uh, for your uh, question indeed it was a very good question surender and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so that will help a lot you know uh, <coughs> so that's it and uh, stay tuned uh, i'll come up with some another more videos and take care bye bye thank you